is Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Welcome to Bryant-Denny Stadium, home of the Crimson Tide. This place is charged up and ready for a big game today. But this contest is not a regular matchup. A battle of two top tens. Two forces colliding. One team leaves here, making a resounding statement. As we'll see the number 10 team in the country, the Missouri Tigers, taking on the sixth ranked team in the land, the Alabama Crimson Tide. 3A Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreet. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Fields it inside the five-yard line. Tackle at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. So Alabama's offense will have the football first here. And here he comes, the quarterback, all eyes on him. He's the guy that just makes everything go. Well, this guy's Mr. Do-It-All. It's almost odd to say this about a quarterback, but he truly does. He's the echo of the coach and the connector of this offense. When everyone is hooked up to him, this team operates at maximum capacity, and that usually means their opposition is in trouble. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound, and it's really solid defense on that play. And they hand it off to the back. Tackle made at the 37. That's a solid game. Ooh, how about that offensive line? That's just getting a hat on a hat, opening just enough room for the back to be able to get through there for a big game. And that run, good for first down yardage. The drive moves on. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. He's brought down, but not before the game to the 42-yard line. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Again, makes it second and medium. Takes the handoff. It's Haynes, and he's tackled, but only after picking up a first down. Well, the scouting report on this running back was that he is an elite ball carrier, and he is proving to be that here early in this game. These first few carries, not only the strength, but the quickness and acceleration to get upfield and get positive yards on display. This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. A solid eight-yard gain brings up a second and two. Chris, if I'm not mistaken, this guy's already over 30 yards on the opening drive of this game. Another nice play right here. If this defense can't stop him, just keep feeding him the football. Second down after that run on the previous play. They're going to run it here. There's the tackle, but first down yardage. Well, I know people want to talk about the spread, and Alabama's offense has changed over the years, but at the end of the day, with this coaching staff, it still comes down to the line of scrimmage and the ability to pound the rock. Think about the backs they've had in recent years. Mark Ingram and Josh Jacobs, Derrick Henry, Jameer Gibbs most recently. This is an offense that still wants to control things up front and beat you down. You make the tackle, but the game moves the ball to the 28. Boy, how about that play, Chris? That thing just opened up. The back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pickup there on first down. Alabama getting set with a first and 10 coming up. And the wideout goes in motion. Back to throw. It's Milrow. Catch hauled in here over the middle. And they stop him just short. The defense really backed up now. It's first and goal. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. Alabama's offense now lining up on first and goal. Goes backwards, losing three yards there.
Ball moved back to the four for second and goal. A run to the left, trying to find Pater. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Good job by the offensive line to get some positive yards, but not quite into the end zone. Now we're going to have a third and goal. Now it's third down and goal for the offense. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Touchdown, Alabama. Offense off to a great start. Well, there's nothing more satisfying for an offensive coordinator than having a quarterback that he can trust in these critical areas. Here you are, third and goal. What do you do? Put the ball in the hands of that quarterback. Whether he runs it in or throws it, you know he's going to make the right decision. Found the matchup, made the throw, and you get a touchdown to open the game. BAT is good. They jump in front, 7-0. Kickoff team now set to boot this one away. Return starts from inside the five. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. The Tigers offense out there for their first possession. And so here we go. This is going to be fun, Kirk. It's the other part of this quarterback duel. Both these guys really expect to be playing for a long time on Sundays. One of the better college matchups we're going to get this year at the quarterback position. Chris, you and I talked about this before we came on the air. Yeah, it's about the team. Obviously, you want to win the game. But I think both these guys understand what's at stake. They're two of the better quarterbacks in the country. Whoever wins today can take a big step in showing who, in fact, they are individually. It's early, but this crowd is fired up. Listen to this noise here. This is going to be tough for the visitors today. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. What makes a really good counterplay is selling it to the defense. So you're going to go one way and then handing it off in the opposite direction. But if you don't sell it, you're just giving the defense more time to see what's going on. They can come up and make the tackle, just like you saw there. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Defense able to stop it. It's fourth down now. Quarterback had a lot of time to evaluate this defense, and most of his reads downfield appear to be taken away, so he checks it down to his running back. And how about the way this defense just runs to the football to keep him short of that first down? Great job by the D. And the returner decides to signal fair catch. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. The last possession was just old school power football. Let's see if they can keep that going here. Quarterback leaves the pocket on the move now. Slides to avoid the big hit. How about this by the quarterback? He takes a negative play and turns it into positive yards and slides down before taking a big shot. It's an excellent job of getting down to avoid that big hit. Offense in a split backfield now. Back now goes in motion. Defense will have to adjust. Caught in the backfield. It's Miller. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. You know, Chris, you think about it, efficiency has always kind of been the description of a great Alabama quarterback. Man, think about the playmakers that they've had over the last few years at this position, Jalen, Tua, Bryce Young recently, just a different level of quarterback play and really gives this offense an edge to it. Finding space at the 20. And he's run out after a big game. The offense will be set up with a first down and goal. Boy, I thought he might take that one all the way to the house. What a nice job by being able to find that lane in that defense. He picks up big yards, and the defense is fortunate to get him out of bounds there inside the 10-yard line. The tied offense line up here on first and goal. And the back gets the football. 
And he's finally tackled at the three. Defense getting pushed backwards. Chris, it's the consistency of this back is giving this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. They'll try to run this one in. Couldn't quite get in, but they're knocking on the door at the one. Well, they came very close to punching that one in, and now third down and goal, and if I'm the O.C., I challenge my offensive line in that back. I just slam it right back into that A-gap and try to overpower that defensive front. Game moves the ball to the one. Third down and goal. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Third and goal. Try to make it on the ground. Muscles across the goal line. Touchdown. Tied. A little bit surprised here, Chris. I thought they might put the ball in the air here on third and goal, but instead they run the football, keep it on the ground, and they get the touchdown. Kicking team on now for the extra point. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. So it'll be a touchback. Ball spotted at the 25. So the Missouri offense heads back out onto the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? Run it up the middle, but stuff for no game. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. Second down play coming up. Hand off to the single back. Tackled after a three-yard gain, so it sets up a third and seven. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Has no one to throw to there on third down. And now it's a fourth down coming up. Well, it looked like the quarterback had everything that he needed there. Had great protection. Receiver ran a nice route. Just not able to convert there on that third down. Let's see what their decision is on fourth down coming up. They bring the punter onto the field now. They're going to kick it away for the second time. He'll call for the fair catch here. Here's the first play of the drive now. They're set up at their 40. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. Hits into space at the 50. He's brought down, but not before getting into enemy territory at the plus 47. So Alabama will take the lead into the quarter break here. They jumped out to an early lead in that opening period. Let's take a quick look at the stats so far. And as we flip the field and begin quarter number two, we'll see if they can continue to build this lead. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. An inside give now from the shotgun. He gains nine, so it's second and one. Chris, that's another good run for him. He's had such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Second down after that previous play. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, as you know, the reason this team has such a nice lead today is the day that this guy has had running the football. But that time, finally, the defense comes up with an answer for him. 
Offense gets set up here. It's third down. Try and muscle for the first down. He shreds the tackle. And that game will pick up a first down and move the football to the 36. Well, sometimes it's just a backyard brawl, right? I mean, it's third down and short. You trust your back and the line to be able to pick up the first down. And he literally pushes with everything he has, throwing a haymaker there at the finish of that play to pick up the first down. This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Grab behind the line, it's Miller. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. You know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? Their own defense. Man, when I played, I used to have defensive guys come down and tell me when we'd have a long drive, how much it would allow them to rest and go out and play dominant football. Alabama getting set with a first and 10 now. Scanning the field, it's Milrow. Quick throw to his receiver. Catch is made down the middle. They make the tackle quickly, but the offense set up with a first and goal from the seven. How many first downs is that on this drive? This defense allows one or two more drives like this, and they're going to be gassed by the third quarter. Alabama's offense now lining up on first and goal. They'll run it here. Great cut. They whiff on him. They finally corral him at the one. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here, and he's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. He'll keep it on the draw play. He'll make it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bama! Chris, that's what I love about this quarterback. It's a great touchdown, but he shows you his versatility. We know he can throw it, but here he shows you his speed and how he can make the defense pay for that as well. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. And the kickoff will be a return. Makes it with the 16. That's good coverage there. Here comes the Missouri offense back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Defense able to stop the ball carrier there. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. Offense goes to the pistol formation now. Dropping back. It's Cook. And the quarterback finds an open target on the crossing route. Tackle made after a solid game. They'll spot the ball for 31. The defense does a nice job of forcing the quarterback here to be patient by playing zone. And they run a crossing route. Defense is there, but not able to break up the catch. No huddle here for the offense. Trying to find some room. It's Carroll. Showed off the stiff arm, but nowhere to go. He's held to a short game. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Second down play coming up for this offense. Tailback takes the handoff again. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. I mean, Chris, you have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. you got to respect that, and hopefully at some point it'll pay off. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. 
Drop him back. We're going to throw for the first down. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Boy, Chris, what a hit there on that third down play by the defensive back. If he doesn't make that play, that's probably a first down, and they move the sticks. Instead, we've now got fourth down. And the punt team makes its way onto the field. We'll see what he can do with the return. And the return will be brought down. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. Trying to build on a beautiful, balanced touchdown drive. Last time they had it. On first and ten, looking to throw. Grab down the middle. It's Haynes. They get him down, but he crosses midfield. Spot the ball to 44. You know, plays like this are what Alabama offense is all about. They run the football, and then they're efficient within their passing game. Think about it. They won a couple national championships with Greg McElroy and A.J. McCarron by just being efficient and playing smart at the position and being a great complement to that running game in the defense. Caught behind the line. It's Miller. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. This offense is clicking, and clearly everything seems to be working. The coordinator is calling good plays. The quarterback and the rest of his receivers and running backs are executing. And frankly, this defense is showing almost no resistance. That run picks up first down yardage, a fresh set of downs for this offense. Ball handed to the running back and brought down at the line by that big defensive tackle. The defense made a good play there, but needs to string along more stops like that against this running back if they want to be able to win this game. The run game has looked good in the first half, but maybe that won't be the case from now on. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Back to pass. It's Milrow. Running out of time in the pocket. Trying to get the throw off. And he just throws that one away. Took a big shot, but avoids the sack. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Quarterback escapes the pocket. He's got the first down and more. Quarterback gets down to avoid the tackle. Chris, watch him work through his progressions here. Finds the first and the second option aren't there. By the third option, he's got to pull it down and try to pick up some positive yards, which he did, and then he slides down to avoid the big hit. Alabama getting set with a first and 10 coming up. The shotgun running play call. Picks up two, so it's second and eight. Second down here. Time for one more play before the two-minute warning. It's the two-minute warning. We've got a blowout developing here before halftime. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. It's incomplete. That was caused by the defensive pressure. And now it brings up third down. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. Offense facing a third down now. They can still get a first down without scoring. To throw, it's Milrow. Looking to the end zone, and he's got it. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Tight end was wide open. How do they lose track of the big fella down there, Kirk? I don't know. I wish I knew. I, the defense, to me, looks like they just were so locked in on defending the goal line, they forgot about the tight end. That'll probably be the easiest touchdown throw and catch we see of the game today. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Extra point makes it a 28-zip lead.
kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And here's the return from inside the five. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. So the Missouri offense heads back out onto the field. This has been a rough first half. They'll have to regroup in intermission. But in the meantime, let's see if they can get some momentum going. Gets made on the out route. And he shoved out of bounds with the defense short of the first down marker. Good job here to be able to get a foot down. That was awfully close to being out of bounds. But no, he's in. A completion makes it second down. Offense looking to throw the ball. Fires it to the wideout. And it's incomplete. The defensive pressure affected his throw that time. It's pretty simple as a defensive coordinator. When a quarterback drops back to throw, if we get pressure on him, we got a chance to slow him down and win the football game. If we don't, it could be a long afternoon. Good job here by dialing up the pressure. So a very makeable third down for this offense from the 26-yard line. Looking downfield, it's Cook. Quick throw, catch made on the out route. Ball carrier heads out of bounds, but the pickup is good enough to move the chains. First down. And you just continue to see the chemistry between these two. And they told us yesterday in our production meeting, they spent hours and hours of working and developing that chemistry and that rhythm by throwing together throughout those summer months. And man, it's starting to really pay off. He's become his security blanket for the quarterback, and especially on third down, get him the ball. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. This is an example of a quarterback in his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. Looking to chuck it again. Caught over the middle. It's Cooper. Timeout is called to talk strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. The offense finally producing here. Sets up a first and ten. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. Receiver makes the grab. They stop the receiver, but that's a solid gain on that play. Well, it's a game of matchups. Always has been and it always will be, especially on the perimeter. And the quarterback believes his guy is better than their guy. Offense in hurry-up mode. They look to throw it here on second down. Grab down the middle. It's Carroll. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. Missouri getting set with a first and ten now. From the shotgun, drops back looking for an open man. The tight end makes the catch downfield. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big gain. You know, a lot of times college quarterbacks, they're more comfortable working to the outside. Here's an example of a quarterback with a full field read, and he hits a big play in the middle. Missouri now operating in the red zone. To the air, it's Cook looking to the end zone, and it's caught. Touchdown, Tigers. Great job here by the play caller going to that five wide receiver set. You put all these guys out in space and create one-on-one -on -one matchups. It's very tough on this defense to try to win all the matchups and give the quarterback credit for being able to find where he wanted to go to be able to come up with that touchdown. And they'll set up for the PAT. The extra point is good, but still trail by three touchdowns, 28-7. So an important touchdown just before halftime. Not much time for the opposing offense to try to answer before the break. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. Ball handed off. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. 
And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Fellas, you've been calling a great one today from there in Tuscaloosa. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to start the second half. Alabama will kick it off to start the second half. Bringing it out, it's Burks. And he'll be stopped short of the 20-yard line. Good job by the coverage team. Here comes the Missouri offense back out on the field. And they'll start the third quarter here on the ground. Tackled at the 32. That's enough for a first down. Well, anytime you're down at halftime, you get your minds together, you try to make some adjustments, you try to get things heading in a better direction. This offense is off to a great start after this play right here. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Looking downfield, it's Cook. Goes to his right side there for the completion. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. That completion sets up a second down play. And there's the handoff. And he will be stuffed for no gain. Boy, how about this defense? Just so physical against the run. These guys have not been able to do anything on the ground, and it's because of that defensive line and those linebackers taking away the run game. Movement at the second level of the defense now. Third down. This offense could really use a conversion here down multiple scores. It's a draw to the back. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. How about the defense on this play right here? Chris, they go with a draw play to try to take an advantage of an aggressive defense. It's pinning their ears to get upfield. But instead, it was almost like the defense was expecting the run. They're not surprised at all. They make a great play. Punt team ready to boot it away. It's on to kick it away, helping his team with field position. Returner decides to fair catch this. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. Opening play of the drive, he looks right for a completion. They bring him down quickly, a short pitch and catch to get a little bit closer to the marker. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. Offense getting set. It's second down. It's a run. Running back's got it. That run moves the ball across the 35. I know this defense works very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. And he's already at it again. That run sets up a critical third down play. And they pick up the first on the ground. Breaking free at midfield. The first down pickup tackled at the 45. How impressive have these guys been up front today. Big third down, know what you need to do, get the first down, continue to hold on to that lead, continue to work clock, and get that much closer to securing a victory. Alabama getting set with a first and 10 now. They're going to run it. Matt gets the carry. And the tackle is made after a four yard gain, so second and six. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. A gain makes it second and medium. It's a quick grab. Eludes a tackle. 
Oh, what a move. Goes right through the tackle. He's got room to run now. Tackle made after a big game. Well, defending this guy, you need more than one defender. You really got to stress rallying to the football because this guy can make people miss. This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. There's a wide open receiver, complete. Brought down at the three, but that's enough for a first and goal. You talk about balance as a play caller. I don't know if it gets much better than what this offense is doing. Three runs, three passes, and all three passes have been completions. And now it's first and goal. The tied offense line up here on first and goal. Grab behind the line. It's Law. Touchdown, Alabama. And this one is getting ugly. That's another passing strike from this quarterback. He is having himself a tremendous ball game. Boy, this guy just can't miss. Every single time he throws, it seems like he's coming up with another touchdown. The receivers are running good routes. He has enough time to throw. And, man, this poor defense, they might want to think about changing up coverage because right now it is not working. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Fielded in the end zone. It's Burks. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. So the Missouri offense heads back out onto the field. They were forced to punt it away last time. So let's see if they can get clicking in this possession. Picks up three yards. So second and seven. Chris, you know, the spread era over the years has always grown offensively. But what I've been always impressed with, with defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Play action fake, looking to throw. Scrambling, now he'll make the throw. And he pulls in the catch. And he's brought down, but it's a first down spotted near the 41. Well, it's a big risk to play man-to-man -man coverage by this defense, and this time they get caught. Great timing between the quarterback and his receiver. You can see what can happen when that timing is right. Big things can happen. Throws a fastball, but it's intercepted. They get him down after a short return, but the offense will go to work for the 44. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane, pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. Again, he makes it second and medium. Caught in the backfield. It's Law. Tackled quickly after the catch, he'll be short of the marker. Well, this is why they want to get his hands on the football as often as possible. We always know about his ability to make plays downfield, but here they just get to him quick on a wide receiver screen. He shakes a tackle and picks up nice yards. Important third down play coming up. Can he get there on the ground? 
He's tackled inside the 35 and picks up a first down. Well, that's mano y mano right there. Offensive line knowing exactly their assignment, getting a hat on a hat, and that back threw just exactly where he needed to go to extend this drive. That's a first down. Alabama getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Here's the handoff. Gets free now, heads into the secondary. Touchdown, tied. To stretch the lead, the route is on. He just breaks away and takes it to the house from distance. That's an elite running back type of play. You know, when he got out into the open field, I didn't know if he had the speed to take that thing all the way to the house, but he does. That's next level speed. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the PAT is good as they continue to pull away even more. Now they get set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Here comes the Missouri offense back out onto the field. We'll see if this quarterback can shake off the interception he threw in the last possession. Fires it to the wideout. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. First down, looking to throw the ball. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. That's a misfire there, Chris. This passing game has got to be able to get into sync and find a rhythm. So, second down after the incompletion. And the running back takes the handoff. Well, I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. The putter has been very busy so far. Can they finally convert here on third down? Looking to pass. It's Cook. Let's it go quickly. It's a risky pass. He gets away with it. Almost the second interception for this defense today. Oh, man. Nearly a disastrous play there by the quarterback. Look at his facial expressions right now. He knows that he caught a break. Trying to force the ball in there. He's going to have to make better decisions moving forward and work through his progressions to find his open man. No kick it away here. We'll see if he can make a play on this return. And the coverage team able to bring him down. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. They take the field with serious momentum. They have been tough to stop so far. Can they keep it going? First down. Looking to throw the football. He's looking deep here. It's intercepted. Tried to fire it into a tight window. Bulldozing his way past tacklers. And that's a solid return after the interception. What a play by the defense. Really, the only way they can get back into this game is to create a turnover. They get an interception, and they're in business. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Look at out throwing here to start the drive. Caught over the middle. It's Burden. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. Offense coming to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before we reach the end of the quarter. Ball handed off. They make the tackle, but he gains enough to make the first down in what should be the last play of the third quarter. 
So Alabama will take the lead into the quarter break here. Hasn't been much of a contest so far, and the stats will reflect that. And as we enter the fourth quarter, let's see if this game can get a little bit more competitive. That solid run, good for first down yardage. Back to pass, it's Cook. That ball snagged for a completion. Tackle made at the 21, but this offense is in great position to add more points. Finally, good for them. They come up with a big play like this. Let's face it, offense has been at a premium for these guys. You wonder where plays like this have been all game long. Missouri getting set with a first and 10 coming up. They'll give it to the running back. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice gain like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice game. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. One back in the backfield, and he'll get the carry. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play, touchdown or field goal. On third and short, they try to pick it up on the ground. Looks like Missouri will have the first down. You know, even though that these guys are facing a deficit, they're not just going all through the air. Love the fact that you're running the football, keeping this defense honest, not panicking by just throwing every single down. Now you get a new set of downs and a chance to keep moving the ball down the field. Offense set for the sixth play in this drive. They'll switch it up here, looking to throw. And the pass is incomplete. He dropped the first down attempt here across the middle. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Looking for a gap, it's Carroll. Runner finally brought down, but at the five-yard line, defense getting pushed back here. Chris, I just don't know about short gains like this, especially keeping the ball on the ground. The clock keeps moving. They need points on that scoreboard in a hurry. Got to throw the football. You cannot afford to allow this clock to keep ticking. Crucial. Third down coming up in the red zone. Can they keep the drive going, or will they have to settle for three? Dropping back, it's Cook. He's escaping the pocket now. Makes it across the goal line. Touchdown, Missouri. You know, today's not been their day, but the thing that you can always hang your hat on is these guys are still competing. They come up with a touchdown here late in the fourth quarter. Can use that as hopefully some momentum into next week. Now they line up to kick the extra point. And the PAT is good. Getting set to kick the ball off now. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. Remember, the last possession ended quickly. An interception on the first play. Let's see if they can do better here. And they'll tackle him about the 23-yard line. Hat on a hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Second down after that run on the previous play. Keeping it on the ground here. They'll stop him at the 34. That will be a first down. What a shock, right? I mean, this guy once again gets his hands on the football, and great things seems to happen. He's over 120 yards on the day, and it's really been a combination of his vision and speed along with really dominant offensive line play. First down here for this offense. 
And the quarterback keeps it on the option. Not much on that play brought down short. Now, not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. They didn't lose any yards, which is great. I think they're definitely looking for more from that play. Getting set. Here's second down. They'll test the right side here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Boy, these obvious running situations are very tough when you're working with the lead late in the game because you know the defense is going to stack the line of scrimmage, make it as difficult as possible for you to run the football. So nice job there by the defense. They're trying to punch that ball out, do anything they can at all to get the ball back. And he'll drop back here on third down. Easy throw to a wide-open receiver downfield. Potentially a touchdown-saving tackle, but not before a long completion. You know, they've got a lead here late in the game, and the play calling, I think, shows you how much confidence they have in this quarterback. He's had a pretty clean game today, and this decision to still throw the ball with the lead shows you that they believe he's going to make the right decisions and make the accurate throws. This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field. And looking to throw now on first down. Has caught. Can he get in? Brought down. But the completion moves the ball down to the four. Well, the defense didn't have any time at all to get pressure on the quarterback. He gets the ball out of his hands pretty quickly on the hitch to the receiver. Second down and goal. Oh, it's snapped to the back. And it'll be smarter right at the line for no gain. It's a nice play by this defense, and now you're thinking about third down and goal from around the five-yard line. You've got a real shot to come up with a stop here. Whether they run it or throw it, you get a stop here, maybe holding the three points. Third down and goal. Crucial play coming up. They'll work the clock here with the running game. Only gets a couple of yards there. It'll bring up fourth down. Well, the defense is locked in on this running back, and for good reason. He's already scored a couple touchdowns. If I'm the offensive coordinator, give it to him one more time. Let him make it a hat trick. So on fourth down, the decision is to trot out the field goal team. And that's the two-minute warning as this offense tries to work the clock, getting closer now to an impressive victory. Big play for both teams. Can the offense punch it in? Fourth and goal from the two. And the back now goes in motion. Touchdown, Bama. Stretching the lead. This one is getting ugly. Chris, you talk about having a day. This offense just goes out. They don't, they're not even looking at the scoreboard. They're just going out, executing the play call, and continuing to put points on the board. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Bringing it out, it's Johnson. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. So the Missouri offense heads back out onto the field. They need a miracle. A couple of them here in the last couple minutes. Down big. Receiver makes the catch. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. 
Well, we just continue to see this defense make great plays, especially with their tackling. And the awareness to understand we're in the fourth quarter, you're trying to keep this offense inbounds, so they keep that clock moving. Pass complete. It's second down now. Oh, downfield catch made on the left side. They get him down, but the gain moves the ball up to the 36. Oh, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. High completion, good for a first down. The offense working with a new set of downs here. Back to throw. It's Cook. Pass is caught right near the sideline. What a catch does get the foot down. Hey, there's the execution that's been lacking most of this game, but they'll take it. You know, you try to do everything that you can to learn and try to build for the future. And at this point in the game, it's obviously over, but you love to see the offense coordinator still giving this quarterback opportunities. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. Tackle, but first down. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. Quick throw, testing the middle. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. Finally brought down, but it's an explosive gain. Ball all the way to the 21. They attack the deep middle of this defense, Kirk, come up with a big play. Nice job giving that quarterback time to throw. Good job of making that read to the middle of the field and working against those safeties, and a big play is the result. Missouri getting set with a first and 10 now. Quarterback looks to his right and finds his man. Heads out of bounds as a short gain on the play. Man, isn't it fun to watch running backs who can add that dimension to the passing game? They're so dangerous because once they catch the football, they're operating in much more open space than they would be if they're just getting a handoff. And it really tests the linebacker's ability to cover out the space. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. The offense knocking on the door here with a first and goal. Dropping back. It's Cook bringing pressure. Looking right. This one caught. Tackled at the two after the completion. The defense really up against it now. Chris, now that we're in the final couple minutes of this game, it's a good time to just kind of step back and appreciate the job this defense has done throughout the entire game. They've applied pressure. They've been physical at the line of scrimmage. Good job in space. And a big part of the reason that they have such a big lead today.